Robert Billo McIntyre. The combination of his knowledge of mechanical and aeronautical engineering, his superior communication and marketing skills, together with his vision and perseverance, have contributed greatly to the lasting success of De Havilland Canada internationally and the entire Canadian aviation community. Robert Billow McIntyre was born near Toronto on August 12, 1913. He graduated from Vaughan Road Collegiate with honours and went on to earn an honours degree in mechanical engineering from the University of Toronto. In 1936, Bob McIntyre was awarded a Massey Fellowship to Cambridge University in England, where he was awarded a postgraduate degree in mechanical and aeronautical engineering. While there, he earned his pilot's license at the Cambridge University Air Squadron. When he returned to Canada in 1938, he lectured in Canada's first aeronautical engineering course at the University of Toronto. Soon after, McIntyre was hired by Massey Harris Company to head up the wood wing production team for the Mosquito Fighter Bomber and served as senior aeronautical engineer. In 1942, he was invited to join de Havilland Canada as project engineer on the complete Mosquito program. More than 1,100 airplanes were built in less than three years. In 1946, McIntyre became a key member of the de Havilland Canada Dash 1 Chipmunk team as project manager and head of production planning. The Chipmunk was a success from the start, becoming the primary trainer for the RCAF and the RAF. In 1959, he was appointed project manager in charge of the de Havilland Canada Dash 4 Caribou program, with his considerable presentation skills and knowledge of aerodynamics, structures, and stress, he was successful in guiding the Caribou through FAA certification, resulting in significant sales of this aircraft to the U.S. Army. In 1962, he was put in charge of merging de Havilland Canada's Special Projects Division with Avro Canada's Applied Research Facilities. As its first general manager, he coined the acronym SPAR, later to be spun off as SPAR Aerospace. In 1971, McIntyre created the Market Development Department for de Havilland, which marked a turning point in his career. As its first director, he foresaw the potential demand for short-haul airlines feeding into the growing hub and spoke networks, which the major airlines were fast developing. Concurrently, he saw the simple, rugged, reliable Twin Otter as the perfect airplane to begin to fill this niche. It was a bush plane, unpressurized, strutted, and with fixed gear. It was also noisy, with limited range and relatively slow speed. But for McIntyre, who was using his marketing skills to redefine the commuter and regional airline industry, the Twin Otter fit the bill for the time. It became the original 19-seat commuter, and more than 500 were sold to be used as airliners. McIntyre's market research soon showed a need for a modern, quiet, pressurized short-haul airliner. This was a bold venture, since de Havilland Canada's next product, the innovative Dash 7, would carry a price tag five times that of the Twin Otter it was meant to replace. With design definition of the Dash 7 formed by McIntyre's team, de Havilland Canada produced the world's first four-engine, two-crew aircraft. Certified in 1976, the 50 passenger Dash 7 airliner alerted the world to the possibility of immense profitability in the commuter regional market. The Honorable Jean Chrétien, the Minister of Industry, accompanied the world tour promoting the Dash 7. During his years with de Havilland Canada, McIntyre was involved in some capacity in all of de Havilland Canada produced aircraft the Chipmunk, the Beaver, and the short field takeoff and landing Otter, Caribou, Buffalo, Twin Otter, and Dash 7. Although he had officially retired from de Havilland Canada in 1978, McIntyre remained active as a full time consultant with his final and most impressive assignment ahead of him the advanced design definition of the world's most successful regional turboprop carrier, the de Havilland Canada Dash 8. The Dash 8 was launched in 1980 and came into service in 1983. McIntyre's skill in market research and market development is perhaps his greatest legacy, bringing to the Canadian aerospace industry one of its first commercial marketing organizations.
McIntyre traveled the world conducting market research with airlines to ensure that the Dash 8 would meet their needs in passenger appeal, economics, speed, strength, and reliability. It is to the credit of McIntyre and his team of market researchers and designers that over 20 years later, the Dash 8 remains in full production. When Bombardier Aerospace acquired the rights to produce the Dash 8, they renamed it the Dash 8 Q Series, with passenger capacities from 36 to 70. The airliner continues to sell strongly as part of Bombardier's regional aircraft program, with more than 800 currently in service or on order. Bob McIntyre was made Fellow of the Canadian Aeronautics and Space Institute in May 1976. In 1987, he was named Fellow of the Royal Aeronautical Society and added to the Hall of Distinction of the Faculty of Applied Science and Engineering, University of Toronto. Among the many passions he enjoyed were his family, wife Peggy, their four children, and grandchildren. His interests included photography, woodworking, golf, calligraphy, writing, and sailing the fireball racing dinghy he built in 1963. He died in Toronto September 23, 1985, while still active as a consultant with the company he had served and loved since 1942. Robert Billow McIntyre was inducted as a member of Canada's Aviation Hall of Fame at ceremonies held in Montreal May 27, 2006.